have seasons of fruit balls, drag race, for example. What can I say? We are doing what we need to do. But I did watch some good movies that I really enjoyed, and I want to share them with you because a lot of you have expressed um, how much you like these videos that I do. So, here we go.
this one, I'm not gonna lie, okay, these are unusual times. I was so tired, I've been so tired every night. And even though I love this movie, I fell asleep at the very end, only because <laughs> I was so tired. That said, it's an amazing movie, I swear. sentence. She goes up to him and the painter dies. 
was and she's like I just need to know where is my painting where and he's like honestly I don't remember or maybe she just asked him then like would you want to get coffee or like talk sometime anyway eventually she asked him where is my painting he's like I don't remember we were high out of our minds like drunk and on drugs and I don't even remember taking it I don't remember but it's very interesting too because they took it like professionals like they took the canvas off the frame and rolled it up and took it like that they didn't cut it off it like they took the nails out one by one super professionally done so anyway he didn't remember basically she says okay you're gonna pay me back by sitting for me and letting me draw you and letting me paint you and he's like okay whatever you want like Oh, and she asked him to, why did you take them? And he says, because they were so beautiful. So he took them because he liked them, not even to sell them. And so he wants to help her, so to pay her back. He agrees to sit for her as a model. And they developed this really beautiful friendship, like a really genuine, really deep friendship, where they really understand each other. Um, and of course, things are complicated with money for both of them, but especially the painter only because it's almost within reach in a way, like to be stable financially, but you can't quite break through. And the thief is like, you know, trying to stay out of jail and trying to find a better life for himself. And their friendship is so interesting and so beautiful. And the way the rest of the story develops is really interesting too, again. I didn't even really spoil anything because it's only better from there. So, highly recommend that as well. Then we have, sorry for the bright light. Then we have, oh uh, yeah, Blow the Man Down. Blow the Man. Fishing down, it's definitely 
essentially it's about a young girl still in high school, Eliza Scanlon, who is dying of, I think, cancer, something very serious. And she runs into this kind of hooligan kind of boy who's older than she is, probably early to mid 20s, who's up to no good drugs kind of thing, but he has a very fun, like, scrappy energy to him, and she really likes it, and she's really drawn in by that, and his attention, which isn't necessarily romantic or sexual at first, is one of the very few things that makes her happy as her health is declining. And her parents are very controlling and very sad because their daughter is not doing well. And they see her genuine connection with this young man and they try to stop it at first, but eventually they give in and let her have some happiness and let her make her own decisions a bit. Um, even though she's younger than they would have liked, but they're trying to give her as much life as they can as much of a life as, like, the kind of life she wants, the the thing that makes her happy they want her to have. So they kind of make some unorthodox parenting decisions to give her that gift. And it's an incredibly heartwarming story. And the acting is phenomenal. I also really appreciated the fact that it was filmed in Australia my mind, there's no real reason it has to be in Australia. It could seemingly take place anywhere. It's like a universal story, but I did it in Australia anyway. And I just like that diversity of place. Um, you know, they're just in the suburbs or suburbs anywhere. The story could be adapted to any location. And yet, it's in Australia, so it's just slightly different. And I like that seeing things that are set in locations outside the States so much of so many movies are you know funded by big studios and stuff like that in the states and in Hollywood so I appreciated that aspect of it as well alright next up is Uncut Gems Uncut Gems it's strange to think that I saw this movie year, because I saw it January 1st with my friend. After a long night out, it was the perfect way to spend the first. We woke up late, went and saw this movie, and got milkshakes and fries afterwards. In a totally different time. And, yeah, so this movie no longer feels new to me. And if you're going to watch it, you've probably already watched it, so I It's a good 
Joey um, picks up rapping again and goes really hard at that dream of hers. And it's funny. It's, you know, it's um, very serious too. It digs deep into people's hopes, dreams, fears kind of thing. so poorly acted, I can't even believe 